Hello, what's up guys, and today we're doing a video on how to play Nintendo Wii games on a PC, Mac, or Android device. Alright, so getting right into it, uh, we're going to be using a program called Dolphin Emulator today, and Dolphin Emulator is probably the best one right now for playing GameCube and Nintendo Wii games. It's got tons of support, uh, which you can check on their website, you can use real controllers, you can use a virtual keyboard, you can use Xbox controllers, all that, all that kind of stuff. You can use basically anything. And it's awesome, and you can even do multiplayer, which is really cool. Uh, okay, so getting right into it, what we're going to want to do is you want to open up your web browser and head on over to Dolphin Emulator. And you want to click on the first result, and the website we're going to is dolphin-emu.org. And you want to click download at the top here, and you'll see this development versions at the top. What you want to do is you want to download this here, the 64-bit Visual C++ redistributable. Uh, you want to open that in a new tab or something because uh, you only need that if you're going to use the development versions and then you want to download whatever the latest version of Dolphin uh, is currently available at the time so for me it's 5.0-11518 I'm going to click that to download it and that will download and you want to head over and over to the other tab and you want to install the x64 version of the redistributable download that and install that first accept the license agreement and hit install and the redistributable will install alright now if that's installed it will say you must restart your computer before you can use the software from my experience you don't actually have to do a restart it will work just fine but if you want to be safe then you can just click there to restart and you'll be good after that you want to head to where you downloaded Dolphin so I have Dolphin here uh, on my second monitor which you can't see right now but uh, just know it's there. And you have a dolphin-masterfile.7z. Now the .7z file, uh, you need a program called 7zip to open. So you want to head over to your web browser, and you want to make a new tab, and you want to search for 7zip. And the top result, 7zip.org. You want to head over to 7zip's website, hit download on whatever version of 7zip you want to get, and then you'll be able to open the .7z file, uh, which Dolphin comes in. Um, I've already got 7zip installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it again. But once that's done, uh, what you want to do is you want to get your copy of Dolphin that you have. So mine is here. This is the one we downloaded from Dolphin's website. I'm going to click on the Dolphin file that you downloaded, right click, hover over 7-zip, move on over to Open Archive, and you'll see you have a Dolphin-x64 opened in the 7-zip uh, archiver. Uh, next, what you want to do is you want to click on Dolphin, and you just want to drag it out anywhere you want and it will extract, and there you have Dolphin extracted and ready to use. Once you've done that, you can open up the Dolphin folder, which I've got over here, and you'll see you've got this uh, file structure here. What you want to do is you want to double-click on dolphin.exe, and Dolphin will open up, and it will ask if you want to uh, report your usage to the Dolphin developers. I'm just going to press no for now, but you can press yes if you want to. And here you have Dolphin. Okay, so now you're ready to uh, configure your controllers, configure the graphics settings, add some games to your library, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to go over some basic configuration. Uh, you've got controllers here. If you click on that, uh, you can configure your GameCube and uh, Wii controllers. Um, so for the GameCube controllers, you can choose how many are connected to the system at once, how many Wii remotes are connected to the system at once. Um, I'm going to press none on the GameCube controller because I want to use the Nintendo Wii controller layout instead, which you can see. Uh, I've got here as emulated Wiimote on Wii Remote 1. It's important to note that when you click these drop downs, you can use a real Wii Remote if you connect it to your computer using Bluetooth. So if your computer has Bluetooth, you can connect that and you could use a, a real Wii Remote to play these games. Uh, but you can head on over, press configure, and then I recommend just at the beginning pressing default uh, to reset all these to default settings. And then you can press close and close again. Next option you've got here is config. And this is where you can change simple things such as uh, how the internet interface looks like, uh, how loud the audio is. I'm going to put mine down to 50, in fact, and all that kind of stuff. You can also add paths here, so you can add your paths to where uh, you've got your Nintendo Wii ROMs saved, or ISOs rather. Um, or you can just launch it straight from the open thing there. Uh, and in the graphics options, we have some more advanced stuff to where you can tweak uh, Dolphin to look how you want it to. So in the back end, um, this is the this is 
this is slightly advanced. This is the graphics API Dolphin uses to draw things on the screen using your graphics card. So if you click on it, you get a drop down of these options. Uh, null means it won't output anything to your screen at all, which is not what you want. Software renderer is if you literally don't have a graphics card and only have CPU processing. This is extremely slow and I do not recommend this at all. OpenGL, uh, if you if you can't use Direct 3D 11, 12 or Vulkan, you'll have to use OpenGL. Uh, but if you're using any modern computer like on Windows uh, with a, any modern graphics card, you'll be able to use at least Direct 3D 11. Uh, if you can use 12, that's even better because 12 has better performance than 11, but Vulkan has even better performance than both 11 and 12 of Direct 3D. So I would recommend using Vulkan if you can. And then here you can see the graphics card which is going to use, which is my RX 580. Uh, here you can choose it to, if, you, if you want to show the FPS, if you want to use VSync or any of that. I'm going to leave these off for now and I'm just going to head on over to the Enhancements tab. In the Enhancements you can see the internal resolution which the virtual Nintendo Wii or Dolphin is rendering the game at. A higher resolution means that things will be uh, clearer and there'll be less jagged edges and stuff like that. So if you click on the drop down here, you'll get uh, native, which is the original Nintendo Wii's resolution, which it would output at. And then you've got various multiples of that. So for example, uh, if I wanted to play this at native, like my 1080p monitor's resolution, I would click on native here. And this is three times the Wii's native resolution, which is used for 1080p monitors. If you've got a 4K monitor, you've got that option here, 1440p, all that stuff. So you can choose your resolution here. If you're having performance issues, I recommend dropping it down to 720, and if you're really having performance issues, try playing it on native. But if you can, high resolution is always better because it looks much, much crisper. Under anti-aliasing, you can choose how much anti-aliasing you want. Here we've, we've uh, in, for my graphics card at least, I have multi-sampling anti-aliasing and super sampling anti-aliasing. These look better, but they take much more GPU power to process. So I would recommend, if you're going to use anti-aliasing at all, I would recommend using 4 times MSAA as a good compromise. And then here you have your anisotropic filtering, which is uh, essentially how, which essentially changes how clear the textures are when viewed at an angle, i.e. not straight on. For this setting, I would recommend just leaving it on 1 because it's honestly very, very hard to tell in most games. But if you're going to use it, go big or go home 8 or 16 times because it's not a very demanding setting at all. After that's done, you've configured Dolphin to how you want it to be configured. You can open uh, any game you want. So right now, I'm just going to go and get a Nintendo Wii ISO, which I have saved. Um, I won't be teaching you how to download ISOs in this video because there's a lot of sort of like legal grey area of that and whether it's whether it's legal or not, and that's not my job to show. But once you have your Nintendo Wii ROM or ISO file, you simply can either press Open and it'll open up a window for you to choose um, the file. As you can see here, these are all the file types it supports. Or you can just drag and drop the file onto Dolphin itself and it will start playing the game immediately. So I'm just going to drag and drop this and you'll see Dolphin opening up. Alright, so that was louder than I thought. Maybe I need to turn that down even further. But as you can see, Dolphin has opened up and we are playing Mario Kart as if it were just a regular Nintendo Wii. As you can see, Mario Kart Wii running just fine. Uh, I've got it running in the 1080p mode, I believe, at the moment, although I may have left it on by 640 by 568 although I'm not too sure. But you can use the control scheme, which you uh, did in the options. So in the controllers, whatever control scheme you chose here, you can use to control uh, the game. So for example, I've got A bound to left click, so you can left click, press A. You can set up your uh, your characters and all that, your Mii's, uh, just like you would with a real Nintendo Wii. And so basically, this is just how you, and so basically, this is how you play uh, Nintendo Wii and GameCube games on a PC. The compatibility list is really vast. Loads of games run super well on uh, Dolphin at the moment. Uh, they're constantly improving it and adding more and more uh, features and updates and performance improvements. So it's only it only gets better. That being said, if you do have any issues, I will be in the comments reading everyone's comments and questions below. So if you do want to know how to uh, configure this or if you're having a problem just leave a, a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you But yeah, that was a tutorial on how to play Nintendo Wii and GameCube games on a PC Mac OS or Android uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more stuff like this uh, More interesting content all kinds of stuff uh, on this channel Then it'll be much appreciated if uh, you subscribed 
If you'd like the video, share it with anyone who may need to know how to play Nintendo Wii games, and leave a comment down below if you have any comments, questions, or feedback, or if you just want to say thank you for the tutorial. Alright, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.